Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. And uh, this reading will be your Aries love reading for January, January 1st through the 15th. And in this reading we're going to take a look at your current energy as it deals with love. We're going to take a look at what is coming in for you. How open you are to receiving what's coming in. Any challenges that you're going to face. And then we'll go into some advice. I'm going to pull some oracle cards to start off your reading to see what your current energies are. What you're currently focusing on. And then we'll pull some tarot. Okay, Aries. What's coming in for Aries in love, January 1st through the 15th? What's coming in for Aries? Okay, Aries. We have ask and receive. What else do we have? We have Mother, Father, God. Okay. At the bottom, Aries, we have do the work. So, yes. Okay, Aries, uh, with these cards coming out, asking you receive Mother, Father, God, I really feel like you're really hoping, you're praying, manifesting a relationship. You really want a family. You really want this beautiful relationship um, that kind of the relationship of your dreams something that is available in storybooks you want like that storybook romance that storybook love affair it's very fiery and passionate and you know just something that dreams are made of and I feel like you know you that this is something that you're really hoping for and you, I feel like you're really doing the work on this I feel like you're you're really putting all of your all of your energy all of your manifestation skills into what it is that you want if you're single Aries and currently looking for love I feel like you're very receptive to love um, because I feel like it's something that you're really hoping for wishing for something that you are manifesting into your life and I feel like because you're so open to love that's coming in I feel like you're very you're very receptive to receiving it really beautiful energy areas I, I can feel that you are, I really don't want to say desperate for this connection, but that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're kind of hoping for it like your life depends on it. This is something you want so badly in your life. This is something that you kind of yearn for. You yearn for this connection, uh, this feeling of being wanted, being needed. Um, being appreciated having your needs met by someone else you know and it's a very human very human expression it's not like you're asking for too much you're just asking to be loved okay let's take a look at the tarot um, what's coming in for Aries for January 1st through the 15th. 
what's coming in for Aries in love. Okay, we have the the Nine of Pentacles. What else do we have? Okay, we have the High Priestess. Oh, okay, we have the Seven of Swords and the Hangman. The Hierophants. What else do we have for Aries? The King of Swords, okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. Definitely love here. We have the world card. And the lovers. Definitely love. You have the two of cups and the lovers. The lovers was the last one to come out. So I think this is a surprise coming towards you. The, at the bottom you have the queen of swords. So you have the king of swords. And you, you have the queen of swords as well. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this energy that you have, Aries, is really paying off. Uh, you may be single at the moment. You may be very dependent, independent. Um, you may be, you know, very used to taking care of yourself, taking care of your own needs, not wanting to ask anybody for anything. But I feel like you yearn, way underneath, you yearn to have something bigger, something better, something more fulfilling. Someone who will fill your space, fill your time, make you happy, you know, bring you joy. And I feel like you're 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 in this yearning, Aries. And it's very beautiful actually. Is it's actually very beautiful. Because I, I feel like you're not in this desperate energy, Aries. You're kind of expecting something to happen. And I feel like because you're expecting it to happen, it's more, it's more meant to happen. Definitely, it's more meant to happen. And I, I feel like you trust yourself enough to take chances. But I feel like you, I feel like you don't trust other people as much. Maybe that's the reason why you, you're single. Or maybe that's the reason why your last relationship did not work out. Because of trust issues. I feel like you have trouble trusting someone else. It may be something that happened to you in the past or something that happened to you in childhood actually. But I feel like you have a lot of trouble um, trusting. Just letting things flow. You know, not kind of Letting them flow without asking a bunch of questions or placing blame or um, putting a lot of guilt on someone. You know what I mean? I, f I feel like accusations kind of start to fly when you're with someone because of these trust issues. I feel like anyone that you come across you feel is a liar, a cheater. A thief someone's taking something from you whether it's your heart whether it's your time um, whether it's something physical or I feel like you feel like everyone wants to use you but I feel like you you're not very trusting you feel like everyone is kind of in it to get something from you they're not there to fulfill your needs. They're there to take something from you. 
But Aries, in order to get what you want, you have to be open to being able to trust someone again. Being able to let someone break down your walls enough to take a chance. You know, uh, not everyone is the same person. Not everyone has the same actions. Not everyone has the same issues. Now, if it is that you're choosing the same person every time or the same type of person, then maybe you need to look a little bit deeper to see what changes you need to make in order not to make the same mistake over and over and over. What kind of person are you attracting? What kind of things are you saying to yourself? You know, what kind of um, activities are you putting yourself in? What kind of situations are you putting yourself in to attract people that you can't trust? People that, that just mean to do you no good, you know? And I think that's with this hangman, with this hangman and this hierophant. I feel like it's asking you to dig deeper. It's asking you to look into yourself for wisdom on the situation. Um, the Hierophant, he can be a teacher. He can also be in the process of learning. So I feel like with the Hangman and the Hierophant, you're in the process of learning, of gaining your wisdom, of gaining your clarity, of why these situations seem to travel in the same circle. Why does love always travel in that circle to where it always ends up the same way? Is the issue with the person or is the issue within yourself? That's something that the hangman is gaining clarity on. He's becoming enlightened about the situation. I hope that makes sense to you, Aries. Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. And I, you know, with this King of Swords energy, I really feel like you're looking for truth. You're looking for your truth. And I feel like there is someone approaching you who is willing to do the work, who is willing to be loyal and stable. And they are also willing to be honest and open with you. But Aries, will you be able to accept that honesty and that openness? Will you be receptive to that or will you feel like you don't trust it? Do you trust someone when they're honest and open or do you still kind of question are they really real I feel like that's what this is saying um, the king of swords is this person who is honest and open who is stable you know the Pinnacles is very loyal, very hardworking, very stable, very secure. You know, I feel like these are the qualities that this person has. I feel like they're willing to move slowly for you, to make you feel more comfortable, to make you at ease in this situation. But I feel like this person is definitely coming. This person is coming. This Two of Cups. This Knight of Pentacles is coming. If you haven't met them already, if, if this isn't someone that you're dating, this is someone that you will meet very shortly. And I feel like it's going to be groundbreaking. It's going to be life changing. It's going to make you feel complete. The world card is a uh, sign of completion something being complete you know something coming to full circle 
this is lessons learned. This is goals achieved. This is you coming to a full commitment in this relationship. This, you know, the world card could also be you traveling with this person. This person showing you new experiences, new adventures, new ways to love. Definitely new ways to love. You've achieved with the Two of Cups and the Lover's card. You've achieved love. This is coming towards you. But you have to be open and receptive to receive it. So that's the question. Um, and I believe that's the challenge. That's the challenge of this reading, Aries. Are you going to be open and receptive to receiving it? Let's take a look at your energy Aries your openness to receiving love Aries love reading January 1st through the 15th what is Aries openness to receiving love what's their receptability for receiving this interaction that's coming towards them. Abundance. Okay. So, Aries, I, I feel like you're definitely very open to receiving the situation. I feel like you're opening up. I feel like this person helps you to open up. Um, I feel like, you know, it's going to take some time with this Knight of Pentacles energy, it's going to take some time, but I feel like this person that's coming towards you, they're willing to take time. They're willing to explore the opportunities with you, to explore new experiences, to grow together. They're willing to give you your space to grow. Yeah. Okay. Aries. When you're asking yourself, should you be open to the lessons of trusting this person? You're telling yourself no. You're telling yourself, no, you, I mean, yes, you want love. Okay, Aries, wow, okay, you want love. You want love badly, I see that very much. But within yourself, you're, you've got these walls so big, Aries. You've got these high walls. You're, you're in the middle of this Eight of Swords moment where your boundaries, your expectations, everything is so high that you've kind of cut yourself off from the possibilities. So when you're saying to yourself, should you trust this person? You're telling yourself, no, you're not even, you're not even taking time to learn this person. You're just automatically assuming that this person can't be trusted not giving your so yourself time to know the mysteries the secrets about the person first in order to trust someone you know in order to fully trust someone you have to give it time you have to give it situations to go through um, of course you have to be willing to take challenges take obstacles 
because that's going to show you if you can really trust this person. Those challenges that you go through, those obstacles that you kind of hurdle over, are going to give you an indication whether this person is someone who is worthy for Aries' heart. So, before you make a fast no, Aries, take a slow look. Look for the secrets and mysteries of the, per of the person, not past experiences. What else do we have for Aries? I had no again. Okay. <clears throat> At the bottom, Aries, you have the situation will improve. So, I feel like Aries, you know, it's going to take you some time. I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to get through this challenge the first time. But you do have love that's coming in. You definitely have love that's coming in. But the question is, are you going to trust this person enough to take it one step further? Are you going to trust this person enough to take a chance? To get to know them? To see if you can trust them? To see what possibilities lie ahead? I mean, not everyone's perfect, Aries. Everyone has skeletons in their closet. Everyone has little quirks about them that, you know, may just drive someone else crazy. But, I mean, <clears throat> if you're looking for perfection, Aries, that's only in storybooks. Perfection is only in storybooks. And I'm not here to bullshit you. I'm here to just to tell you the truth. And I'm, you know, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you the truth. What else do we have for Aries? What advice do we have for Aries? Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Swords again. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Your advice, Aries. Your advice is to look deeper within the person. Let down your walls enough. With the Seven of Wands, let down your walls enough to get to know someone. Get to know if it's someone that you want to spend some time with. If it's someone that you want to put the work into. If it is worth your time. And you're not going to know that, Aries, until you take the time to give someone a chance. And I'm, I feel like this Queen of Swords is telling you to be totally honest with yourself and your expectations. What are your expectations? And my advice is for you to write down so that you can actually see them, read them. And acknowledge them. Write down your expectations. What you really expect from a person. What you really expect from the situation. Only then will you be able to move into this love interest. Only then will you be able to find happiness. And find some satisfaction by moving forward with, with love. And I feel like if you're able to do that, if you're able to write down those expectations, write down that so you can really see them, so that you can really acknowledge what they are, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot more happiness. It may also lead to a happy family. You building a family with this love interest that's coming forward. Then maybe you will... You know, have more options in love. Not every love is going to work out. But I feel like with doing this work, Aries, and I feel like you already want to do the work. You already want to take yourself to a new situation. <clears throat> yeah, do the work. You already want to 
um, take yourself to a new expectation in love. And I feel like doing that is going to transform your love life. It's going to transform your expectations. It's going to manifest new things in your life. New love. New creations. New inspiring action. Towards the happiness that you're really looking for. And I feel like that's, you know, that's what I have for you, Aries. Let's take a look at the angels. Let's see what the angels have to say. What advice can I get from my angels for Aries? January 1st through the 15th in love. We have Zana. Aries, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Exactly. Thank you. Let down your guard a little, Aries, so that this love interest that's coming around for you will come. It's not going to come if you're not open for it. It'll just pass you by. But if you're open to love, Aries, this is what is coming in for you. This is what you can expect. <clears throat> and you also have Francesca on the bottom. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So yeah, get rid of any negative energies, Aries. Now I want to get one more card because I really want some clarity for Aries. So I'm going to extend it just a little bit. Because Aries, I really feel like... I really feel like there's... You're yearning... For this situation but I feel like there's blocked energy that's just surrounding you and it's time to release those blocks release that energy we have Lady Nada heart awakening awaken to acceptance and divine love give and receive in balance yeah, and I, I really feel like, Aries, opening up your heart to love will help you receive the balance that you need. And it will also help you be open to someone else balancing you. Someone else giving you that balanced love. That balanced feeling. That only love can bring. At the bottom you have Commander Ashtar. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. And walk your talk. So yeah Aries. If you're yearning for love. If this is what you want. If you want to create a family. If you want to create this love life of your dreams. If you want this storybook relationship. Then you have to walk the talk that's the only way it's going to come about is by releasing the negative energies from the past and actually start acting upon what you're yearning for taking action for what you want out of life if you want love you have to show love be kind to yourself say kind words Build your confidence. Build your self-esteem. You know. There's nothing wrong with standing in the mirror and saying. I am beautiful. I am accepting of love. I am capable of loving someone endlessly. Boundlessly. You know. Um, I am able to trust. There's nothing wrong with. You know, building yourself up that way. 
and I feel like <clears throat> I feel like those positive affirmations that you speak to yourself will actually help your confidence, help your self-esteem, help your yearning grow into something that's more capable. Okay? This is what I have for you, Aries. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on this situation. And Aries, have a beautiful month. I will see you on the next reading. Many blessings to you. Love and light.